This year is the third year of uh, the Irish Concertina Orchestra and the collaboration process. So each year we've wanted to build it and each year we want to make it different so that the children and young people can experience something that's different and they're continuing to learn about different genres of music. It's been going very well. It's, uh, every year has been different because you have different uh, personnel. Uh, we've quite a few young people on board now. There are a few uh, young musicians who have been there for, for all three, uh, but it's mainly new, new students. It's a new learning experience for everybody, uh, and you just work with who's in front of you. And, and it's just, I suppose the great thing is it's the same team of tutors, so Sinead and Connor and Killian and myself since the start. So um, I suppose we've that bit of experience now. We kind of know how to time, to time our run in preparation for a gig like this. I heard about it from my friend and um, then myself and my other friend Isabel decided to join. So yeah, because <laughs> we heard it was really good. So this year we're working with the Cork School of Music Big Jazz Band. So it's the first year that we have jazz music involved and it's been led by Cormac McCarthy. So just to remember, that the introduction is kind of built around three bar phrases. For this year, Padre Grin and Tim Collins got in touch and wondered about getting the Cork School of Music Jazz Big Band involved, which was very exciting. And I work with the, the big band all the time. I'm their kind of full-time director. I think this year, like, with the more experience of like performing has taken this year, I think, to another level. Um, having the experience of last year of playing with like a massive amount of concertinas, like it's crazy. Over the, over the entire time since September, um, we had been doing composition, we'd been learning how to like write our own tunes. And then between all of us, uh, we created like our own tunes and we came up with ideas with the teachers. And uh, then we formed the tunes and the tunes are the two polkas that we play. At the start, like last year, back last year, my first concert in on the stage, I was so nervous, like I didn't want to go up on stage. But then like we get to go up a couple of times a year, so you just get used to it, like Tim has given me really good opportunities um, to be solo playing and it's really boosted my confidence in playing. Tim came to me about three weeks ago and said, will you play this solo? And I said, might as well. And it's a beautiful piece and I really connect with it. It's lovely working with last year with the Irish Chamber Orchestra. This year we have the Big Jazz Band from Cork School of Music and it's a completely different soundscape uh, on stage. And uh, so that brings a kind of, a, 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 you know, a new kind of a feeling and a, a new atmosphere on stage for us all. So it's, it's just great. I saw how, how good basically the concertina orchestra were last year and then when I heard they were being augmented with Michael McGoldrick, John McCusker and John Doyle, I thought this could be fantastic. Mike McGoldrick has written music and of course Mike McGoldrick is a phenomenally brilliant musician and kind of who thinks outside the box musically and so what he has given us to work with and what Cormac has had to score is very interesting musically. Michael's zones, they're challenging, but like I really like them, like they have a good rhythm to them. I composed three tunes. The first tune I wrote is a barn dance and I kind of thought East Clare Music Hall 
player music um, that I've listened to with Tony and Arnold Hello, just nice simple hornpipes and or a band dance would be a nice way to just introduce a tune to everybody. And then I added a tune which has a rhythm change from 7 8 to a bar of 4 to 3 4 and then into a slip jig which is 9 8. So listen, they've, they've smashed it, they're, they're amazing. They're, everybody's on it, you know. So I, I keep them on the toes, it's us that's trying to remember the stuff, myself, John, and John. <laughs> On stage, I think the atmosphere is just amazing. Like, you're just in the moment. You don't think about the audience or anything. You're just like in the music, like. And the band that's there with us, like, they're amazing as well. I think it's just amazing and you meet so much new people and just the confidence to get on stage, like, it doesn't seem like a lot, but it takes a lot to get up on stage and play. Tonight, for the concert, playing with the band, it's an amazing experience. Playing with like Tim Collins and all those teachers, it's a privilege to play with them. And also with all the players as well, they're really talented and um, I'm just glad to be a part of the Concertina Orchestra. If you really have a passion for Concertina playing, this is definitely the orchestra for you. I think we're coming out of it in a high because it was just great. Number one, we're back actually in a venue where we were seeing live music. But when you see so many children who are so proficient in music, and then this amalgamation where they're collaborating with a jazz band essentially, it's just brilliant. And they see the, the classical with the Irish, with the tradition. It was just, it was a great evening. Really, really enjoyed it. It was a great honour and privilege to play with them. And, um... It was, it was a great like, sound that was produced from the stage, um, all the instruments playing together, and it was great sound. It was a great buzz. Uh, I think they all got on very well, especially with the, uh, the jazz orchestra and the other trio that were part of it, and it was a great fusion of music, and uh, yeah, it was electric on the night, so it was fantastic. Well, it just kind of reminds me when I was younger, uh, you know, sort of seeing older, get, getting pulled into things like this and uh, feeling great about playing music. You know, that's what it's all about. Yeah, I think learning to play with different instruments and like the dynamics of tunes that at certain times you need to play louder and quieter to vary it up with different instruments. Oh, it was amazing to hear so many different instruments. Like when the brass started up, my hairs were standing up. It was just amazing. And to hear them all then at the end, it was just such a great experience for Keelan and delighted to have experienced it. It was lovely. Yeah, it was really good. So fair play to everybody involved.